What's up guys, Charlie here. Now today I have a very special unboxing from an order I made from Mercari. Let's get started with this video. Because I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. Hey. Alright guys, so as I said, I've, I've been buying some stuff from Mercari. I have acquired one of my all-time favorite pops. I was recently one of my all-time grails, I should say. I was able to acquire from Mercari recently. That is not in this video. That would be on a different video that I've either uploaded by now or not. But for today, we're gonna be doing an unboxing from Mercari. As I said, I ordered some. Uh, this shirt is actually very appropriate for this video. Totally. Uh, accidental i just realized because i have some uh, game of thrones pops that i ordered from mercari and i just realized there's a little note here on the side of the box from the seller you guys can pause that to look at it more carefully so i'm gonna read it out now real quick so thank you for your purchase it is genuinely appreciated please follow me on instagram holy girl pumps for better pricing and uh, uh this uh, guy's username is Holy Girl Pops. So, uh, yeah, amazing. Very happy with this. Very happy I was able to get these pops from him for this price because uh, individually they would have been more expensive and he was selling the both of them together for uh, 50 bucks. So I got these two for 50 plus, you know, I just had to pay uh, taxes. So let's open this up, see what we have here. Well, I mean, I know what it is, but you guys don't know what it is. But I shall show you guys. Now, I know that with... I personally still love Game of Thrones. I still collect Game of Thrones pops. That's a set I plan on completing. Like I said, like I've said in other videos, I don't plan on getting every single Daenerys Targaryen that's out there. Or like every single Jon Snow, uh, I already have like one of each. I don't need more of them, but I do want like one uh, pop at least of every character. These two were two of my big ones that I really wanted. Uh, I still have like a lot of them to go because of course I wasn't collecting back when uh, the pops were coming out. But yeah, like although like the sad thing is like this is something for. Um, creators and like writers and like really like filmmakers to keep in mind now that a bad ending can really mess up like a franchise it can really ruin a good show because uh game of thrones was one of my favorite shows it still is and like a lot of people love the show like there was a big hype about it but like because of that horrible horrible eighth season that ending just completely decimated the show so everybody ever, everything everybody ever talks about when it comes to Game of Thrones now and er everything people associate when they hear uh, Game of Thrones is just like the bad ending. People have forgotten how good of a show it was and it just goes to show you that a bad ending can really really destroy a show. Yeah like this just goes to show the importance of writing good endings for like stories, TV shows, films and so on. Because uh, <laughs> once you get to that bad ending, everybody, everything, everything, everybody will ever talk about was the bad ending instead of the good show. For me, I still love Game of Thrones. For me personally, well, it used to be that this show, like for me, it just ended in season eight, episode three. So, which you know, episode eight or three, if you're in the industry, but. Uh, now I was trying to watch season 8 again and I couldn't like it was painful to watch so for me now Game of Thrones ends with season 7 like that cliffhanger ending that's perfectly fine with me I can come up with my own ending way better ending but like I cannot watch season 8 anymore that's how bad season 8 is <laughs> I'm sorry I know there's a lot of people that disagree and they were completely fine with it but in my opinion, even the acting during season 8, like, it didn't feel like it was serious anymore. Like, there was a lot of, like, forced comedy. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of, like, painful to watch. Uh, a lot of guys might disagree with this, uh, about this with me. That's fine. This is just my opinion. 
But uh, for me, uh, Game of Thrones no longer eight ends in episode eight or three. It ends in with season seven. And then another thing for us collectors, uh, if you guys were collecting Game of Thrones pops after that ending. The value of a lot of the Game of Thrones pods, with the exception of Headless Ned, dropped. It just plummeted. Like, these two pods that I have here, they used to go each for 80 bucks. I got both of them for 50 now. So, <laughs> I mean, it's great because now I can actually, like, I have a better chance of actually completing the set for a more reasonable price. But at the same time, it sucks for people who have been buying these pops and had to like spend like the 80, 100 bucks per like pop only to like now realize that uh, see their pops lose that much value. Like it really sucks in that regard. But uh, like I said, I still plan on collecting Game of Thrones pops. I still want to complete my complete my sets. I have all the newer pops, so it's just like all the old stuff that I'm trying to get now. Um, but, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's dig into this box. Which one? Oh, let me do this one first. So there is some of those peanuts in here, which I'm okay with because it really protects the box. And these should be in, like, if not mint, at least in a good, great condition. So first up, we have... Uh, let me pick up the rest. So her first, oh, oh and they all come in soft protectors, that's nice. So first up we have the mountain in his uh, golden armor. Really, really nice. There's this side there. Sorry about the glare, guys. There is the back. The other side. This side and the bottom. This guy is back from XDCC. Where'd they get this? Is this a box lunch? Wow, this was a box lunch exclusive. That's amazing. So this pop is back from 2017. It was a box, a uh, shared box lunch exclusive. Which is funny because I think the other pop that I have back there is also a box lunch exclusive. But yeah, very happy with this. Let's take him out of the protector. This is a very nice protector, by the way. So there it is outside of that. So the box looks good. There was something that I saw as I was taking it out. Oh no, it looks good actually. Yeah. The... Wow. I wasn't expecting this. The pop is actually in mint condition. I was not expecting that. So now I want to look at it outside of... Um, I want to look at the pop outside of this. So his original price was $15. I've seen him now go for 30 before all the whole, you know, the collapse of Game of Thrones. This guy was going for like 80 bucks, uh, sometimes more. I was tempted to buy it, glad I didn't do it. But here he is outside of the box. He looks really, really nice. The detail, I must say, for an older, like these older pods, they almost look like their paint job is almost better than the current pods. Like there it is from the side. I like the detailing on the helmet. The helmet is very intricate. And the armor, of course, there's a lot of detail in the armor. And then there's that, what is it, red scarf that he wears. It's a really, really great pop. I absolutely love it. Very happy to add him to the collection. He's not like really, he has some weight to him. He's not terrible, he terribly heavy. But overall, it's a really, really great pop, and I love the paint job of this. But let's go on to the second one of these. This one, I believe, when it was released, it was also a box launch exclusive, which is funny to me in so many ways. It's Olena Tyrell. Now, this pop I've been wanting for a very, very long time. 
Uh, I'm glad I waited though and didn't buy it like right away when I wanted to because back then she also used to be for like 75, 80 bucks. She used to go a little cheaper than the mountain. But she was still pretty up there. And now I got them both for 50 bucks. But yeah, and then this one, yeah, this one was a box lunch exclusive back when it came out. Uh, a good way to tell is because it still has the original price tag there. And if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see or not. But in the corner there, on the opposite side of the price, it says BL. BL is for box lunch. I think Hot Topic there says, uh, they have the same thing, it just says HT for Hot Topic. I don't know if it works the same way with every retail store, but uh, with Box Lunch and Hot Topic, I know for a fact they have that in their tag here in the bottom, which is why I know that both Olena and The Mountain are um, were from uh, shared exclusives with Box Lunch. Anyways, so yeah, that's how I know. And then the fact that they have the old um, price tags, that's also like an indicator for me that these are like these aren't fake pops because sometimes with Mercari I do uh, I am careful about what I buy just because I have seen some custom or like in other words fake pops out there uh, so I am careful with what I buy there on Mercari but the fact that these have like the old tags on them tells me that they are in fact originals that they're not uh, fakes so there it is there's the front the back and there we go so for this one do i have fat jumps no i don't have fat jumps no either so for this one for this set i only have the uh daenerys both daenerys is actually i have the daenerys on the throne and i have the daenerys on her uh white uh gown from this one, the only one I really, really, really want is Sir Davos, because he is one of my favorite characters from the show, along with Olena. Like, if you guys saw Game of Thrones, this lady went out like a boss. She was a boss throughout the show. Like, even when she was dying, she... Because, I mean, at this point, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones, you can't get angry about spoilers. And also, you should know that every, pretty much most people in Game of Thrones die, so... It's not really a spoiler, I think. You don't know when she dies. But even when she dies, she goes out in such a powerful and graceful way. Like, who is that composed during their death? Like, at the moment of their death, nobody, that's who. But let's look at Olena outside of the box. Yeah, she's one of my favorite characters, which is why I've been wanting her for a very long time. So very happy to finally add her to the collection. She looks amazing. She has a nice weight to her too. Does she stand? Yeah, she's a little top heavy. So if Witch didn't stand, I mean, it doesn't matter because I don't keep my pops outside of the box anyways. But there's Olena, really nice. With her, uh, of course, her classic cup of wine. You can't have Olena without her uh, wine cup. Then there's the back, very detailed. See what I'm talking about? Like the paws were so detailed, so beautifully painted as well. There's some uh, paint missing on this side of the face, but that's okay. It's just a little. It's not as it's not a lot. And I like the detail on the her head uh, piece there for like the Tyrell roses. It's like thorns really really cool beautiful pump i love elena i have been like i said i've been wanting this pump for a very long time so i'm extremely happy to finally have both her and the mountain in the collection especially because i got them for such a good deal i got them for a really great deal it's like two of my favorite pumps in one go um, I'm probably like a really great deal because uh, even right now individually they're each selling for like 
25 to 30 bucks depending on who you buy them from some are a little some people go up to 35 but I think I got both of these guys in mint mint condition uh, for 50 bucks so I couldn't be happier with these very excited to add finally add these to my Game of Thrones collection slowly growing it now that the pumps have sadly lost a lot of value but like I've said before I don't collect um, I don't collect pumps because of their value I collect pumps because uh, I like them so if I there's a franchise that I like I'm gonna buy the pumps from them or like a uh, not franchise you know what and Game of Thrones even though like the show has ended and the writers pretty much destroyed the show with that horrible ending I am still a big fan of Game of Thrones up to season 7 <laughs> and I still collect my pumps so very happy to add these two to the collection but anyways guys that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video there are my two new pumps that i'm adding to the collection very very happy to add these two to the collection and like i said i got them for my great price of course you guys should know this is not a sponsored video i don't have nearly enough subscribers for that i just uh you know i just buy a lot of my stuff from mercari because i really enjoy uh buying stuff from mercari just because i usually find things on great deals that being said if you do go on mercari to buy stuff just be careful make sure you know your uh pop prices because uh, some people will oversell things a lot like there's some serious slippers in there so just watch out for that and make sure you know what you're looking for in terms of authenticity of a pop that way you don't buy something that uh, you don't end up buying any fake pops because with the grail that I bought I was very cautious with that one because I realized that some people started making custom versions of her which you know plain up like basically fake pops of her and they were selling them originally for like 45 bucks which people were buying and then people uh now those fake same fake pops have become for like 80 bucks sometimes even higher and people are still buying them either because uh maybe because they don't care but i want to think it's because they don't realize that they're buying a fake pop and there's no way for you to like comment on there and tell them ah oh, that's a fake pop so uh yeah just make sure you know what you're buying if you go on um, if you buy things off third parties in general i personally stay away from buying rare, rare pops from uh, amazon and ebay just because uh, usually the pictures you see there are pictures that they take from other sites and then just put them on the site or whatever on mercari uh people actually have to take pictures of the product if somebody doesn't actually take a picture of the product and post a generic picture I don't trust that seller so I don't buy from them but if I'm able to see a picture of the product from like every angle then I'm uh, then you know you can inspect the product better and I'm more likely to buy uh, from those people so yeah just uh, be really careful when you buy from third party uh, sellers and make sure you know what you're looking for in terms of authenticity for your palms because you don't want to especially if it's a grill you don't want to end up spending more like dropping more than 50 bucks on a pop that might be a fake like you know especially like people that spend like thousands of dollars on grails you don't want to <laughs> buy a one thousand a thousand dollar grail for it to end up being fake so uh yeah just make sure you know what you're looking for in terms of authenticity before you buy things from third party people and that is my little bit of info there for you guys for today just because you know like i said i do buy a lot from my car but i buy from sellers that i uh generally believe are selling authentic stuff like this guy because you know i know things what things to look for so you guys should know what things to look for as well if you're gonna go that route to acquire pops Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's gonna pop up over there next to the Magellan's mask. And go check out one of my other videos in the channel that's gonna pop up somewhere on this side. And yeah, let me know how I did. And if you guys are still collecting, or if you guys collect Game of Thrones pods, or if that's a venture that you guys have given up on, now that the show has ended and the ending pretty much destroyed the show. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching to those of you who watch Especially for those of you who watch all the way till the end And yeah, thank you for bearing with me. Ching. Stay safe wear your protective equipment when you go out and stay out of trouble guys I'll see you next time. Bye